to the Moyers and the Virtues. We can confidently group you together because we are and always will be family. Not only did you all make sacrifices of time, energy, money, and more, you also took timely steps back so that we could step into our power. You trusted us, you empowered us, and you emboldened us to soar. There's no telling just what you experienced witnessing the behind the scenes of our 22 year career and partnership. But know this, collectively, you provided the comfort of perspective, steadfast support, and humility. The foundation upon which we built a career was solid because of the part each of you played in our lives. It seemed that our families have carried much of the burden of participating in sport. Well, we got all the fun times. Um, <laughs> They adjusted their lives, uh, taking all their vacations and weekends to be at skating competitions, picking up the pieces of our meltdowns and the extreme lows, you know, the ones that people don't see on television, and through it all, offering us their calm love and support when logic was very far from our competitive brains. We'll be forever grateful to each and every one of you. This whole journey, this dream would not have been possible without you. I used to get asked all the time, what made Scott such a formidable athlete? As president, <laughs> as president of the Scott Moyer fan club, I could go on about his innate talent, musicality, passion, drive, commitment, work ethic, coachability. Truly, the list is so long because he is the best in every way. More than that, he's the kind of friend who always has the right thing to say the kind of human that epitomizes generosity and kindness, and the kind of skating partner that builds you up to feel like you can conquer the world. That's the person you want on your team. And I thank my lucky stars every day. He was on mine. Right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> of course I was pretty happy to be on Tessa's team, to be honest. It was like Yari Curry figuring out he's on the line with Wayne Gretzky. You know, you just are happy you're counting your lucky stars that you get to front row seat to watch a genius. From her ability to move and create brilliant choreography to her athleticism and near perfect technique. She's the greatest skater that I've ever seen. Her brilliance is evident in everything she does on and off the ice. And she is ruthlessly competitive. All some of my favorite traits, but they don't come close to the fire that lit within me when we skated together. That's my favorite part. And oh man, we had a fire. Our eyes would meet on the ice and it would take us to another world. Our passion for skating and for skating with each other would ignite. And the feeling was way better than anyone, sorry to tell you this, than any spectator had ever thought that they had witnessed. Things would be moving fast and I wouldn't understand how I could keep up to her. Yet I had to. It was my end of the deal. How could she push me to be my very best without pushing me at all? How could she challenge and support me all at the same time? It was about more than just results and what we created on the ice. It was about two young people using sport to try and be the best versions of themselves for each other. And the only measurement of success was whether we had succeeded or not. It was a truly beautiful journey and it changed the course of my life. It changed how I function as an adult, as a coach, and most importantly, it lives on with me. And the other two very important women in my life, my wife and daughter, the fabric of that relationship woven, woven out of the same respect that was taught to me by one of my greatest teachers, my amazing dance partner. As you can imagine, we've spent the last several months reflecting on our journey as Canadian athletes. How is it that a career can feel simultaneously like a grueling collection of hard-fought battles and also a fairy tale? How can it feel like a distant memory and also as if it were yesterday? The duality of our emotions make it difficult to fully comprehend the accolades and the achievements, but we're holding on tightly to the moments of meaning along the way. Sport has served as a universal language throughout history. It can offer hope in times of dismay. It can give love when grief is overbearing. Sport is, in reality, often a mirror that reflects back to us our values, expectations, morality, and sense of self.
sport can change a life and inspire a nation. We look around this room and feel extraordinarily optimistic about the future of Canada's sport landscape. Thank you so much for this incredible award. We will cherish it deeply and we relish the responsibility that comes along with it. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.